Welcome back to the Michigan Lynx Tournament Expert Division Weekend Round. Hole number seven. This is option number one. This is going to be a uh, king maker shot. Free to play. We're going to be setting up with the white ring touching the bunker and the rough at the same time on the bottom side of it. Like you see here, just make sure you get those touching at the same time for your landing position. All right? Uh, we're using three top spin, three left spin. So I'm passing up the three line and then going back down to it uh, so that I always have the same amount of top spin. One thing I could tell you on this shot is the key to dropping it with consistency is the speed at which it's coming in the hole. So, you know, a click or two less top spin can mean the difference between dropping and missing. So make sure you pass up the three line and then come back down to it so you have the same amount of overpower I mean, or top spin that we're using. Other than that, we're adjusting this shot. P2 numbers plus 15% max. P2 plus 15 max. Now, there are a couple of wind angle tweaks uh, that we've needed here to get this one to drop with some consistency, but they're all minor. Uh, nothing crazy on this one. So, what we're looking at for wind angles is going to be. If you look at this this bush here as a reference, if you look kind of right in the middle, there's a small bush here on the front. And then like, some more bushes over here. Well, the, the line between those two right here, that's one line. And then if you look to the right, just behind this, there's a tree, right? That is going to be our second line, okay? In the middle, we have neutral. To the right, we have a crosswind, and to the left, we have tailwind. Now, the wind angle tweaks, they are simple here. So, if you have the tailwind, 7 to 7.6, seven, minus 0.2 from your adjustment, 7.7 seven to 8.4, minus 0.1 from your adjustment, 8.5 to 9.1 is no change. If you're in the neutral angle, no change okay uh drops in all wind angles as far as i know and if there's you know any additional changes there i will make them not every one of these have been tested but almost all of them have um this here this is a king wind this is neutral i make no change and it drops just fine, okay? So if you have the crosswind, there's no change unless your wind is 8.5 or higher. You'll add 0.2 to your adjustment. So the only tweaks that need to be made are tailwind, minus 0.2 from 7 to 7.6, minus 0.1 from 7.7 to 8.4, The other tweak that needs to be made is crosswind, 8.5 to 9.1, add 0.2. All other wind strengths and wind angles need no change. All right, pretty, pretty simple tweaks there. And uh, surprisingly, a pretty consistent shot. We're playing this with a kingmaker with the massive wind angle changes we're seeing here. The shot has been dropping with consistency, so a real good opportunity here. As always, practice it uh, before you play it live so you know what you're looking at. We are using left curl and circle drop OP. So it's always circle drop OP. The curl is always the same. My reference for the curl 
is a very simple one. This along with the circle drop OP makes it quite easy to get your curl set up properly. No matter what ball you're using, makes no difference. Because we're playing circle drop and we're lining up the spongy line between the two balls, touching the tip of the shot circle there, just like you see. And that is what we're looking for. So that plus circle drop OP, and you are where you need to be. Other than that, all you gotta do is make the proper tweak for the proper wind angle and wind strength. Hopefully, you'll be walking away from hole seven with the hole in one. Like I said, for a free to play Kingmaker shot, uh, really consistent. All right, best of luck. I hope you get the drop. See you on the next one. E2, 15% max, three top, three left. Circle drop OP. Oh, and we're pulling it with a slight 1201 flicker. That's it. Nothing heavy. But straight with a slight 1201 flicker, just making sure we're not pulling any 59.